a little bit of an update today maybe a little bit of cross breeze from the wind um, but going into the park to do my 10,000 steps um, which as you can see I've done virtually none hence I'll be here for about an hour um, but I have apologies for not much updates but there hasn't really been much to <coughs> discuss with everybody um, myself I've just I'm um, just about finished a uh, course in counselling uh, which I undertook because companies keep going about well-being in the corporate world but what does that actually mean from a corporate stance because what it normally means is they've just pinged an email out once a week going is everybody happy so I thought you know what I'll actually do a counselling course I'll actually put so, put my money where my mouth is and actually look at how we actually value individuals and is there stuff we can actually do to help others it's while doing the counselling course um, I've now signed up for a master's degree as well uh, which is going to start very soon so I've got two years of uh, blood and tears to get through that um, from a leadership point of view because um, I'm often held back business wise because everything I've got is time served, experienced and uh, it's still something that's obsessive in the corporate world because a lot of people are retaining their positions on the back that the only thing they do have is a degree because um, often they suffer with high incompetence um, which isn't going to change anytime soon but I just need that degree um, just I mean for me it's I can't even call it a personal development thing in the sense of for me it's just going through the motions it's stuff I already do um, but often do it probably wondering what I mean as well the fact is a lot of these people talk about empathy caring about others but unfortunately they're often a self-preservation society um, I'm actually invested in the people around me I'd much rather have one of my guys um, get trained and shoot above me um, because for me that's a success story but there is still a lot of cultures in the corporate world about trying to hold people back. Um, it's a strange world, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over it because the key to everything in life is you can sit and whinge about it or you practically do something about it. In this case, I'm investing in myself, I'm doing my training. Sounds like the waterfall's working. On top of this, I've been restructuring my finances and looking at where I want to be and what I want to achieve. Now, this may sound like a lot to you, <laughs> um, but I want to bank about a quarter of a million. Um, and I've already started that. I'm not going to say how far along, but I've started investing in uh, a thing called Vanguard. It's a, it's a business entity. It's been going for about 40 years. Um, the stock markets are going to become very volatile soon and hopefully I'm on the rise side and not on the downside um, because once things become volatile that's where the money's made but key to it is simply put money in there every week or every month because um, if, it, if it's treated like a phone bill or something else you don't really notice it going out but it accumulates quicker and it compounds this case, um, it's an ISA, stocks and shares ISA, where it's basically going into the stocks, the stocks and shares market. And the last two week, two weeks, my portfolio is up by about one percent. Um, now I'm just sort of looking at how to inject more cash into it because I want to ramp that right up, um, which also means rejigging my values in the sense of the house is becoming secondary because we've paid a lot of the mortgage off already but also I've got to be careful I don't affect my own uh, taxes and stuff by overpayments so this is what I've sort of switched to investments but the investment's actually going to pay more than paying the mortgage off so that's one counteracts the other and the advantage of um, doing it the way I'm doing it is it's gathering pace uh, but the mortgage is coming down as well, just slower. 
uh, as part of the changes um, I've also started doing a lot more looking after myself which uh, do 10,000 steps a day in the park and four hours row in a week uh, to be fair with the work environment I'd probably kill myself if I did more than that on the rowing <laughs> um, but you know it's like the other night I come in uh, probably about six seven o'clock at night I was tired been up since six in the morning still stuck my shoes on do recommend uh, these though these are sketches I find them really comfortable for walking the the soles were a bit big for the rowing machines but I actually like them um, due to the fact that they're comfortable Pity they don't do some in the a black sole because um, I'll get away with wearing them in the office um, but the important bits uh, uh, on this is you've got to sort of get yourself into the routine and it's about the the discipline of it because um, like I said doing 10,000 steps a day it's just coming around here walking around here for <coughs> probably an hour um, to get all the steps in um, but at the same time it's out of the way gym's only five minutes up the road so going in there hitting the rowing machine for 30 minutes a day not a biggie and never feel, feel energetic I can just carry on for an hour um, but reality is my weight's coming down I'm feeling a bit healthier um, getting back to my old focus because I've got to admit the the jobs I've been in recently um, the hard work um, I mean some people would say demoralizing but as somebody it's a senior leader um, I can't really say that sort of thing um, challenging is the word in the corporate world challenging it can be challenged from a business venture point of view that's those things are starting to progress as well um, don't want to talk about about them too much because the problem is not sure if anybody at works listening I know they're not actually directly involved in work stuff um, people can be a bit nosy um, so I'd rather keep keep the two things separate but as things develop I'll quite happily share at a later date but I know people go oh you haven't moved moved along much since you started doing these and I'm like well I'm living in a house that costs well it's worth over 200,000 that's that's pretty much nearly paid in the space of two years I think that's a fair a fair bit of going from a Spanish perspective though what's changed lately I've actually got um, a couple of TP-Link CCTV cameras installed now um, I'm just trying to work out how I can share the the one on the balcony because it's not really a, a privacy issue as such um, but it gives you a view, a view of the beach and the, the main road um, but just trying to work out how to sort of share that out but um, my, April and the kids are currently in the Philippines on holiday um, so nobody's sort of been up too much lately um, but the ring alarm's on neighbours keep an eye on the house um, so I've got no sort of risk there um, and things in Spain are pretty good I've got to admit it's just these changes in the UK, it's the issue at the minute. It's just getting everything aligned. I'm seeing an opportunity uh, from consulting and other stuff because I think with the, uh, the great resignation and uh, from a corporate point of view, they're difficult environments. So when people had their time to remote work and whatever, a lot of people had a think about what they actually wanted to do and realize their jobs were crap so i think a lot of people just didn't want to come back and haven't uh this is what they were in the uk done about trying to get the uh, the ones that retired after you know after 55 to come back good luck with that a lot of people hate their jobs because it's one of the things that you get um from a co corporate perspective they don't actually speak to people they just pass stuff out as if like oh yeah we, we you're happy in your job because we're telling you you are no I'm not in fact nobody is in fact you don't even want to listen to what the problems are it's what I think the rise of consultants going to continue to increase cause from two sides things like NHS and oh, sorry. that's all right 
um, and other government entities. They've got um, a lot of stuff going over to um, from central government or management companies into trusts. Trusts where you're basically responsible for your own buildings, financing, um, and basically delivery. So you're responsible for everything. A lot of these people have no idea how to run a building. I mean, it's not their fault because they're accountants, they're doctors, they're teachers, they're barristers. Bizarrely, none of them have construction or facilities management in their titles because they were never a business to, designed for that role. The role was about the, the delivery of the services they do. Uh, if you look at, say, annual projects for schools, you only need people in the holiday seasons, you only need people for specific things like, say, a fire risk assessment or um, giving you a strategy for the long term. But ultimately, the, the key to it is you're actually looking for people at certain times of the year with certain specialities. So I can see the market's just going to increase. I mean, one of the things I'm keen on at the moment is actually developing virtual assistants beyond things like monitoring calendars and stuff, which is something AI can do quite well. It like the infrastructure is changing a lot of the big city sites you know like hsbc's building in london the landscape's changing they're gonna have to repurpose some of these sites because people ain't coming back to work i mean it's we're in a environment where change is required um it's the same as the energy market is currently in its infancy so there's stupid amounts of new work coming in there and even myself i'm starting to look at energy management courses on uh building building management so things like you know from solar panels to knowing what the energy bills are to hydrogen boilers you name it looking at all the technologies especially with the current energy crisis which doesn't seem to be a real one Ultimately, things are progressing. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of thinking everything out for the longer term now. So investments are starting to shoot up so I can actually look at getting back to Spain full time. Houses getting paid off, upskilling, taking care of health, etc. Um, it's all fairly progressive. Um, there's not a lot of negative stuff because quite simply I've just given up on a lot of this stuff. <laughs> you realize, One of the key things is realising when you're wasting your time. Um, people aren't prepared to listen, etc. Change your focus onto something else. Let them do what they want. Um, they can come back later once it's a mess. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of positive stuff and it's a nice day in the park. Yeah, I'm nearly, what's that, one quarter done? Got about another 